Content Aware Access. CA SiteMinder can use information classification in its policy enforcement decisions, thereby providing Forward Inc. with increased granularity in how it defines its access and usage policies. This enables CA SiteMinder to make the access decisions based not only on whether the user is authenticated and authorized for access, but also on the sensitivity of the resource, as determined by the content classification engine. So, for example, access to a document posted in the SharePoint portal by mistake can be prevented dynamically by CA SiteMinder based on the sensitivity of the data. This can help Forward Inc. to balance business enablement with fine-grained asset protection and reduce the risk of information compromise and non-compliance. In this use case, we will demonstrate how CA SiteMinder can apply content-aware access management based on user identity. Both users, Forward Inc. employee Michael Allen, that is a part of the HR group, and forwarding client Jennifer Smith have access to an employee information document within the forwarding collaboration SharePoint site. During the normal process of collaboration, Michael appends employee social security numbers to the document. This is against the company's social security number PII policy to allow employees that are not the members of HR group and even more, forwarding customers to have access to an employee social security number. CA SiteMinder then applies content-aware access management when Jennifer attempts to access the file. Jennifer Smith, a forwarding customer, logs into Forward Inc. website to access the client portal application. Jennifer clicks on the SharePoint portal link to access Forward Inc. collaboration site on SharePoint server. Jennifer Smith has access to several shared documents on her home page. She chooses employee information and selects to edit in browser. Jennifer can view or edit the document. This document content is accessible for all forwarding employees and customers. Next, Michael Allen, an employee of Forward Inc., logs in into employee portal from Employee Portal landing page, Michael clicks on the SharePoint Portal link to open Forward Inc. collaboration site. Michael also has access to employee information. He selects the file and then edit in browser. Michael Allen is a member of HR group. Michael has access to employees' personal information, such as their social security numbers. Michael adds new column to employee information file and enters employee's social security numbers. The document is opened in SharePoint Excel web application, so the changes are automatically saved. Jennifer Smith, a forwarding customer, is returning to the client portal application. Jennifer clicks on the SharePoint portal link to access forwarding collaboration site and selects employee information, the same file she had have access recently and chooses to edit in browser. Jennifer Smith does not have access to the document and is routed to the failed authorization page. Blocked document copy contains employee's social security numbers and Jennifer is not authorized to see such content.